What's up, YouTube? You know who it is. It's your boy, Mims, and I'm coming at you guys with game two of the NBA playoffs. So far, the Dallas Mavericks are up 1-0, to zero, and we need to at least win this game. If Otherwise, it's going to look a lot like last year in the real-life playoffs. But anyways, as I get the sweet dish off to Andrew Bogut, um... I'm just, midterms are starting, man, you know, midterms are starting, and I'm just trying to get this video out for y'all, but before I continue, let me show you this sweet alley-oop to Kobe Bean Bryant, off the glass, off the backboard, who knew Kobe Bryant could still dunk it, and I know you guys are happy that the Lakers got Ramon Sessions, because that could only mean one thing, Brandon James cannot be on the Lakers for 2K13, <laughs> but enough of that, let me address the Kobe chucking in my view of Kobe's chucking I want Kobe Bryant to shoot the shots he sh uh, he usually shoots if he gets the open shot he went 3 for 20 the other night but most of the shots he took were good shots I'm not gonna lie they were really nice shots and don't say he needs to give it into uh, Bynum more Bynum went off for 30 something points 35 33 37 I forget but uh, he went off for 30 something points so Bynum did his job as I uh, put up that terrible shot over there. The only, the thing that you guys don't realize is VC dunks in nasty. Shout out to Virus who wants to play me in Modern Warfare 3. The one thing you guys need to realize is that Kobe Bryant, uh, the fact that the Lakers only lost by four points against the Utah Jazz with Kobe Bryant shooting 3 for 20 is ridiculous. <laughs> like, it just shows how good the Lakers are. Think about it. Kobe shoots 3 for 20. Your star player show, shoots 3 for 20, and you guys only lose by 3. That's the way I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it this way. And sure, I understand Brandon James has an amazing dunking attribute and just posterized Lamar Odom, but... Sure that, <laughs> sure that Kobe Bryant does shoot too much. I agree. He seven. Uh, I think tonight he went some like he went like I forgot what he went tonight, but he usually shoots at least 30 shots, and it's below 50 percent. Let's just say that we all agree with that. I haven't been able to catch the Laker games lately because I'm in college during the time as J Kid shot clock cheeses me. But if you ask me personally. Kobe shooting that way as, uh, alright, I'm sorry, I need to stop interrupting myself, but that was ridiculously cheesed over there. <laughs> well, that's just me exploiting the 2K system, and I'm gonna get to that in a second too. But Kobe is, Kobe just shooting that much is necessary for the Lakers to win. Now, as long as Bynum gets his touches, <clears throat> he uses, he utilizes Gasol, and Ramon Sessions is making plays, the Lakers are gonna do well. <coughs> but Kobe... Uh, it's not about how much he shoots, it's about the shots he shoots. I'm cool with him putting up a lot of shots as long as they're good shots. And that's about my that's my only view on that. If you guys agree with my views, then let me know. If you guys have a separate view, I'm willing to look at it. And believe me, if I feel that you guys uh, have a better view than me, I will definitely agree with you. I have a lot of pride in my statement, but I know when to let go of it and agree with someone else's view. Like, me, and, uh, me, Drew, and Coop always argue about this kind of stuff. And, you know, whenever one, uh, someone is right, someone is right. And I can't always be right, you know? But, <laughs> anyways, let me get to my My Player talk. I wanted to lay out some NBA 2K13 uh, wish list idea for My Player. And I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to keep doing these in segments. If you want, you can like this video and it will send a tweet to Ronnie2k to look at this video. But this is exclusively my play, uh, my player ideas right now. And I'm going to get to you guys. Last year, if you look at my video, it says my player desperately needs to have an added element. It needs contract negotiations, <coughs> which they added in. And excuse me, I'm a little sick, so I'm sorry for my cough. But it needs contract negotiations. It needs an added, an extra layer of playability. You know, replay value as well. And they listen. I think they actually listened to me, and they added contracts, which was really, really cool. But the problem with that is, 
by the time that we are that good, by, I mean, by the time we finish two years, we are already, like, bonafide LeBron James caliber superstars, and that's a huge problem with me. The, uh, the addition of abilities is cool. I like it a lot, but it just doesn't make the game realistic for a second-year player to explode like that. <laughs> the only cases where players exploded like that and became that good that quickly is, mm, I think, um, probably Derrick Rose is one. Derrick Rose is a good one. Chris Paul is another good one. But Blake Griffin is a good one. But, like, no players, hardly any players. And one thing, an <laughs> invisible chest bump by Ron Artest for finally making a three. But one thing that... <laughs> Thumbs, for, thumbs this up just for the invisible chest bump, man. Come on, don't be a hater. <laughs> Who else could include NBA memes in uh, his commentaries? But besides that, one, first of all, by the, the, all right, back to what I was talking about. By the time you reach your second year, all of those players, number one, Blake Griffin, CP3, Derrick Rose, have either won the Rookie of the Year or or have won the rookie of the year and was the number one pick so <clears throat> you have to think of that no player just explodes and becomes amazing in their second year N at least not a 13th pick even Kobe Bryant who's arguably the best 13th pick of all time wasn't able to explode up until his third or fourth year he didn't come out that well so we, we need to find another way to make making your player much much di more difficult better much more difficult without actually making it as big of a pain so what I'm suggesting and you guys can let me know if you agree with this <clears throat> is for one add more attributes and be more uh, descriptive the instead of having offhand ball dribbling for example do a crossover with the offhand attribute or a crossover with the right hand attribute. I know I'm not really going into this that deep because I don't think that's that amazing of an idea. <clears throat> but be more descriptive with the abilities. Like, if you could, uh, for dunks for example, add the, add the factor that people are dunking over other people like po chances that someone could make a specific dunk or chances that someone could dunk it on tra uh, dunk it in on traffic or for example the three-point rating the ability to shoot the three-pointer in transition or the ability to shoot the three-pointer in the four uh, when in clutch situations you know for a buzzer beater with passes the ability to throw a flashy pass you know you don't I can never tell the difference between <clears throat> throwing an uh, between an amazing passer and just an average passer besides alley-oops could be made and long-distance passes that can be made and that brings me on to my next topic there is no incentive whatsoever for a shooting guard or a small forward or a center or a power forward any position but a point guard to go on to a team that has a good point guard and the reason for this is these players don't play like their actual selves they don't drive into the like Steve Nash doesn't try to create plays for other people I think you're gonna notice Jason Kidd doesn't try to do that either he just passes it into paint into the paint to Dirk or he doesn't have any nice flashy passes that to create plays for other players which is a huge problem because that's how the player would normally play when I played on the Miami Heat earlier this year <clears throat> and this kind of looks like deja vu I let another three-pointer in at the clutch but when I played against the Miami Heat this year uh, I mean with the Miami Heat this year the one thing that I noticed was LeBron James wasn't giving me nice passes he wasn't creating for me he would just drive it in and dunk it and his assist numbers were terrible so that's another thing I want to talk. Uh, I want it to be fixed. Players need to play more like themselves. Uh, if I play with Darren Williams or Chris Paul, I want plays to be created for me. You know, another thing is the ability to call your own plays, and maybe adding the All Star Weekend. <coughs> I know they're gonna have to work much much harder and go deeper to add the All Star Weekend into the game. As I throw a terrible pass, which 
to destroy the game for me. But anyways, those are some ideas about my player. It's like two uh, ideas. And let me know what you think of these ideas. If you like these ideas, thumbs this up and send, them, send it straight to Ronnie2k. It's going to tweet it directly at him. Just thumb it up. Tell your friends to tweet it at him. Let's make a good 2K game. It might not be 2K13, but if it's not, it will at least be 2K14. But I think it's still in okay planning stages. So, yeah, I think they could get these ideas in by the deadline for 2K13. But <clears throat> next, uh, next topic of discussion could either be crew, association, the actual gameplay. And let me know in the comments what you think of my ideas. Because, of course, they're not perfect. I'm a regular guy just like you. But only I have a PBR and an advanced editing program <laughs> but anyways you guys it's your boy mim signing out if you like this video please thumbs it up game 3 should be coming out soon and enjoy the rest of the video this should be a post game interview coming out we go up one to one it's your boy mims and i'm out nobody wants to lose a close game kevin it's much better to win those tight games that'll do it for now Center. We are just about ready to get underway here in Game 2 of the first round of the Western Conference Playoffs. 2K Sports brings it to you live once again. Hi everyone, this is Kevin Harlan. By my side, Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. Taking a look at the Lakers. Tough loss for them in Game 1. We'll see if they can rally back in front of their hometown crowd to tie the series. Well, coughing up the home court.